Hi guys, it's Corrine and today I wanted to share with you how I make the mats for my mini albums with the silhouette. They can also be made just by simply cutting out a rectangle piece of paper the size that fits into your album and adding a tabbed punch to the top. But the reason I designed them in the silhouette is I like this bracket shape and I did not have a punch of a bracket shape. So it's very simple. Um, I get asked quite often how I do this. So I thought that I would share this and I hope that this can help somebody out there. So let me just go ahead and delete my example. And the first thing I want to do is over here on the left, I want to select draw a rectangle and I'm going to draw out a rectangle. Then I want to go to my scale window up here at the top and with this selected I need to change the size and I think I usually make them a 5 by 7. So I'm going to select apply and I will be needing two of these. So before I move on I'm going up to my replicate window and selecting duplicate right. That way I have another box to work with. Now over here on the left I want to go to my library and select a shape. You can use any shape you like. This one would work great. These would work great. It's whatever shape you like. The shape that I use is actually a bag topper. So I'm going to open those up, move this out of the way. Again, any of these shapes here would work if you like them. The one I specifically like is this bracket shape right here. So I'm going to select this group and ungroup them because I only need that bracket shape. I'll move that out of the way and I will right click and delete all of these. Okay, so now this I need facing the other way. So I'm going to my rotate window up here at the top and I am going to rotate it 180 degrees. And now I'm simply going to drag the corner box down to get the size that I like. And it's all about preference. So I think that looks good there. So now that I'm happy with the size, I'm going to go back to my replicate window and duplicate it. And I'll put that to the side to work on later. So now I'm going to select my bracket shape, hold the shift key and select my rectangle box. I will go up here to the align window and select align center, align top. Now I know that this bracket shape is perfectly centered in my rectangle, but of course it needs to be higher. So I'm going to select just the bracket shape, use my arrow key and raise it right to where I like, which is right about there. And now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to draw a box around both of them and go down here to the bottom left and select group and move over here and select weld. You can also right click and group and weld this way as well. So now I've welded that. Let me fill it with black so you can see what it looks like a little bit better. So that's exactly what I use in my mini albums. So now that I have one with the bracket shape in the middle, I would like one with the bracket shape on the left side as well. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to select my bracket shape, hold the shift key, select my rectangle, go up here to the align window, and I want to align top and align left. Okay, now I'm going to, I clicked off of that to um, deselect them and now I'm going to select just the bracket shape, move it up, okay now I like it there, I might, let me look here, Yeah, I think I'm happy with that there. So I'm going to highlight both of them again and go down here to my group selected shapes, group them and over here to weld them. 
So I will fill that in with black again so now you can see. So now these are the mats that I put inside of all the pages in my mini albums. And w you have a centered one and then depending on which way you put flip the paper, you have one on the right or on the left. So I hope that this helps. Then at this point what I would do is save this to my library and then you never have to design it again. You can just cut it out every time that you need it. So I hope this helps somebody. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below and thanks so much for watching.